Hello everyone, and welcome to The Sims Lore. As you all probably know by now, we're getting a new game pack on the 26th of February. I'm really excited, as it's so different to the types of packs we've gotten so far in The Sims 4. The pack is called Strangerville. If you'd like to know more, the Sim Gurus are answering a few questions on Twitter, and we'll be getting way more information this Sunday the 24th as the embargo is lifted. In the meantime, I wanted to put this video together to tell you everything you need to know about Strange Town from The Sims 2 and the mysteries surrounding it as it's becoming more and more obvious that Strangerville might be a spin-off of Strange Town and could have something to do with Bella Goth. The way The Sims series works is in a timeline. The Sims 3 is the first on the timeline, happening roughly 50 years before The Sims 2 and 25 years before the first Sim game. So it's The Sims 3 first, Sims 1 and then Sims 2. Take the Goth family for example. In The Sims 3, Mortimer and Bella are both children. In the first Sims game, they're married and Cassandra is a child. In The Sims 2, we have Mortimer as an elder, Cassandra as an adult, a young Alexander, and Bella is gone missing. It's been confirmed by Maxis that The Sims 4 isn't on the previous Sims series timeline. The storyline happens in a different reality, so Strangerville might not be fully connected to Strange Town and Bella Goth. But in their teaser tweets, before the trailer was released, the Sim Gurus were hinting at Bella saying Beauty, Mother in Red, and Bella hidden in between Beauty. I'll be giving you the information you need to know from previous Sims packs so you can join the speculation team and not feel so left out. If you already know the stories and details about the town, I'm sure I cover a few things you didn't yet know, so if you're interested, please keep on watching. First off, I want to start with Strange Town and then move on to its inhabitants. Strange Town is a pre-made neighborhood from The Sims 2. It was founded by Sheriff Paul Strange, related to Deputy Duncan, a character from The Sims 2 for PSP. The town has 11 lots, which is also the same amount Strangerville has. The town's description reads, Truth seekers move to Strange Town hoping to discover the secrets the town holds. Do aliens live among us? Do missing Sims mysteriously disappear here? In this town, nothing is what it seems. There are several well-known families in Strange Town. In total, there are seven playable households, including the family bin. These families are Curious, Beaker, Grunt, Smith, Spectre, Loner, and Singles. Let's start with the Smith family. Normal enough surname, right? Well, the Smith family is comprised of Jenny, Johnny, Jill, and uh, Pollination Technician 9. Let me explain. Each of The Sims' two neighborhoods have a pollination technician. A pollination technician is a member of an alien civilization in The Sims 2. Strange Town is the home of pollination technician 9 Smith. He's the husband of Jenny and the father of Johnny and Jill. He's also the father of Lola and Chloe Singles. Basically, pollination technician 9 Smith impregnated Glarn Curious, his wife's father, and had two daughters, but we'll explore them more in depth in another video. The family's bio reads, after a fruitful career, pollination technician 9 has retired to his favorite planet. But can his son Johnny make friends and fit in, or is his family just too strange for Strange Town? Here's a quick family tree. I know, super confusing. I'm going to make an in-depth video on all of the Strange Town families, their history and family trees, so stay tuned for that. Let's look at the Spectre household. It's made up of Olive Spectre and her niece Ophelia Nygmus. The bio reads, who is buried in Olivia Spectre's garden? Will the mysterious aging outcast leave her fortune to her niece Ophelia, or as rumored to an unnamed heir? If you look at Olive's family tree, you can see she has a son named Nervous Subject, which now lives with the Beaker family. There is definitely something very strange about Olive. It's speculated that she had her son with the Grim Reaper, but there is no father shown in his family tree. It's also been speculated that Olive murdered a bunch of Sims, but more in-depth history on this in a later video. Here's the full family tree. The Grim Reaper isn't confirmed as Nervous Subject's father and was added for speculation purposes. Next is the Curious household, comprised of three brothers, Pascal, Vidkund, and Laszlo. The household buyer reads, In search of truth and mystery, the Curious brothers got more than they were expecting. Can Pascal, Laszlo, and Vidkund cope with their new roles as cosmic parents. When the family is first played, Pascal is pregnant with an alien child. The brother's sister, Jenny, is married to pollination technician Nine, who's also the father of their half-sisters, Lola and Chloe Singles. Their starting funds are at 4,242 simoleons, which might be a reference to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, where 42 is the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Here you can see the Curious family tree. Curious family has always been obsessed with science and aliens since their ancestors, who appear in The Sims 3. Their are one of the few families who have five generations, along with the Montes and Caps from Veronaville. The Curious household has reappeared in The Sims 3, where Notso is a toddler living with his parents Cherish and Marshall in Twinbrook. Moving on to the Grunt household, they're a military family from Strange Town. Another similarity, as we're getting the military career back with the release of Strangerville. The Grunt family is comprised of General Buzz, Tank, Rip, and Buck. 
the family Bayer reads, Tank has always lived under the hard thumb of his father, General Buzz Grunt. In this domesticated boot camp, can Tank prove his worth to his demanding dad? General Buzz is the father of Tank, Rip and Buck. Tank wants to follow in his dad's footsteps and be just like him, but Rip and Buck don't want to be part of the military. Buzz's ex-wife, Lila, divorced him and mysteriously died later by electrocution. Strangely, her grave is on the Spectre family lot. Buzz and Tank don't get along with the Smith family because they're aliens and the Curious family because they're so weird. They basically don't like anyone who isn't normal or in the military. Buck and Rip, however, have a good relationship with Johnny and Jenny Smith. Here's their family tree. Next is the Beaker family, made up of Loki and Cersei Beaker and their science test subject slash guinea pig nervous subject, Olive Spectre's son. Their bio reads, what experiments are the highly secretive and less than neighborly Loki and Cersei Beaker performing on poor nervous subject? Will this secrecy affect Cersei's career ambitions? Their house has a basement with machinery purchased as career and aspiration rewards, where they also keep nervous subject. The Beakers are rivals with the Curious household, as Cersei used to date Vidcom Curious. Here's their family tree. We can see here that the Beaker Beaker family reappeared in The Sims 3, comprised of Loki's parents, Gondrun and Bjorn, Loki and his sister Eren. Their household bio reads, The Beaker family lives for friendly science in a friendly society. Gondrun and Bjorn were the leading minds in some of the cutting-edge geotechnology that made the town what it is today. Now, with two young children in tow, they're thinking that perhaps it's time to take their love of science to another town, maybe someplace a little stranger? In The Sims 3 Into the Future, another Beaker household appears in Oasis Landing, the futuristic neighborhood that can be accessed when traveling into the future. The household contains Sarah's and Atom Beaker, who according to their individual bios are Loki's genetically engineered children. Their bio reads, a scientific experiment transported the Beaker twins to the future from their home in Strangetown. They love the future and its scientific possibilities. Now finally onto the family bin households. There are two households in this family bin, the loner and the singles. The loner household is just AJ Loner, who is the last living loner family member as his parents are deceased. The bio reads, AJ has come to Strangetown hoping to find himself. Will he be successful in his new home or will the odd things that always seem to happen here drive him away? Here's the family tree. Last but not least, we have the Singles household. This is made up of Chloe and Lola Singles, original surname Curious, who are the daughters of Pollination Technician 9, Erin Singles, who is Loki Beaker's sister, and Kristen Singles, original name Lost. Their bio reads, has there ever been a group of roommates so different from one another? As if living in Strangetown isn't hard enough, will these girls be able to accept their differences and be friends, or will the tension tear the house apart? All right, so there you have it, guys. These are all the households and only part of their stories, but enough to give you a good idea of what Strangerville might bring to the game in terms of lore. Hopefully we'll see the comeback of a family or two from Strangetown, and I'm going to go right ahead and speculate that it might be the Grunts. It's been confirmed by Simguru Lindsay that the aliens or weird beings in Strangerville aren't pollination technicians from Sims 2. She tweeted, The pollination technicians were never this creepy. But there must be some correlation between the two, or at least some similarities in terms of hierarchy or storyline, as the gurus have been hinting to The Sims 2 quite a bit. Going back to Pollination Technician 9 Smith, in his family tree you can see his mother, called Birth Queen, the daughter of Colony Drone 2121, were the workers of the alien civilization. Birth Queens are the ones who conceive Pollination Technicians, and the gurus are hinting towards a mother or a queen, so it's going to be interesting to see where this bat goes and how many similarities there are to previous Sims series lore. So that's it for today's video, thank you all so much for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments below what your theories and speculations are on the pack. Follow me on Twitter for more lore. I'll see you in my next video, bye!